My name is Samantha Lahr, and I'm going to be showing the venipuncture technique on a mannequin arm. First things first, introducing Good myself morning, to the my patient. Name is Samantha, and today I'm going to be performing a venipuncture technique. Uh, can I get you your name and date of birth? Clarissa Jaramillo, 919 2000. Okay. Now I'm checking the hospital ID band to verify her identification. The next step is hand washing. In this case, I will be using Germex to clean my hands. Next, I will be gathering my supplies. I grab a tourniquet, a band-aid, an alcohol wipe, a gauze pad, my needle, and my gloves. I also will be using my vacutainer tubes to hold the blood. I grab a blue, a red, and a yellow tube. Now I will be putting on my gloves. Now I put the tourniquet on. I warn the patient it might be a little tight. Now I palpate for the vein. I want to make sure the vein feels bouncy so that I'm not poking a tendon or nerve or anything other than a vein. Now I open the alcohol wipe and clean the patient's arm. This is where I will be performing the venipuncture puncture technique, so I make sure to get the entire area. Now I uncap my needle and get ready to perform the venipuncture. puncture. I make sure my tubes are right by me so I'm not crossing over during the venipuncture. puncture. I put the needle in at an angle. I start inserting my vacutainer tubes and collecting blood. I make sure to keep the needle still so I'm not moving in and out of the patient's arm during the venipuncture. puncture. I continue to do this with the rest of the vacutainer tubes making sure to keep the needle steady. I saw good blood flow, so I released the tourniquet. I've used the dust to put the safety cap on the needle and put it into the biohazard charts. In this case, it was a bag. Take my patient to hold the gauze in place and continue applying pressure. I get a marker so that I can label the tubes. Clarissa. J. And your birthday was? 9-19-2000. And it's 11, 15. This with the red and yellow tubes as well, making sure that they all have a label, so that way the laboratory knows what patient it, the blood belongs to. I check the site where I performed the venipuncture. puncture. The site is not bleeding heavily. I get the bandage and put it on the patient. Now I clean my supply area. All this can go in a trash can or bag. I remove my gloves as well using the correct technique. Throw them in the trash. 
threw my gloves in the trash and thanked the patient. Thank you, ma'am. Have a great day. After the whole technique process, I wash my hands again with Germex in front of the patient so they can see.